Hi guys, so we're learning how to make a multiple bowl cannoli. So we'll be needing like um, 7 inches, but it depends on how large you want your to be. But I think I want mine to be very portable. So we'll be needing like 7 inches of this um, cannoli and it's a half bowl anyway. So what you do is you are folding the rough edges together like this. These are the rough edges. Then you bring them all together like this. And you tie. And this is it. So you get like four, you get like four of this, or five, six, whichever way you want and how many you want for the, um, the bowl quinoli. Now I've been able to get like um, four of it already and the one I just made is the fifth one. The next thing we are going to do is to make a rose. We make a rose from the quinoline. Now I have been able to secure the edge by tying it. So that's what you will do. You secure your edge by tying it. Now after securing your edge by tying it, you will thread it. So I'm trying to make a rose from the quinoline. Don't forget. Now this is it. So the next thing you do is you will bring this side to this side. This is it. And you will start rolling it. Every row you make, you sew. Every row you make, you sew till you get to the end. So I will just start rolling mine. So every roll I make, I am going to sew. So that I will be able to get my rose shape. So this is it. So when you get to this side, you will simply fold it into two, like this. Then it will be here. So it's because my my quinoline is very small. But when I am done, I will be able to open it for us to see. So this is an idea of it. So in making a rose, it depends on how large you want your you want your rose to be. Mine I want it to be very small, that's why it looks pretty difficult, but if it's large, it doesn't give you an issue. So the more you roll it, the more the rose comes out, then when you get to the edge, like I told us, you just fold it in and you sew it. So this is it.
think I'm done with the rose. And this is it. That is not. This is not big, but I think it's okay. Now the next thing for us to do is to start um, um, merging our our half bowl to get the multiple bowl. So you place one on each other and you sew. The next thing you do is you place this other one here and you merge it too. The next thing you do, the next one you do again, you merge it to the side. So you are simply trying to get uh, the multiple bowl. And as you can see, it is forming. Like this. So, I'll be adding another one since we have a little extra. This is it. We are done getting our multiple bowl for our Kumodin hat. Now the next thing for us to do is to attach our rose to the bowl at the middle. This is it. And we are done. So we just tie it here. So the next thing for us to do now is to apply your your comb, your white comb. On the quinoline, if you want to use it like that, okay. so you just like I told you, quinoline is always adjustable. So you just apply your white comb here, and you can just use it like this, or you can just apply use it on your hair just like that. Now it depends on what you want. So you can just simply, for if you have any excesses like this, what I will do is you just cut it out so that it do not have to show. So guys, I'm done and thank you for watching. See you in my next class. Bye.